Well, hello. It is 10 o'clock on Friday, and here I am. So today we're going to talk about, uh, we're in a series of blocks that people have for getting started. I'm Katherine Alexander, founder of Quick Video Productions. Um, there is a workbook for this series. If you want to download it, it's free from the website. So you go to quickvideoproductions.com forward slash Facebook hyphen live, and you'll find the workbook. So please download it. It asks you specific questions about your situation. So you can um, refer to it in your own personal way um, instead of looking at a more generalized way that I'm going to talk about it today. So there are a few reasons why my clients <laughs> have trouble. I work with people who resist te technology for one reason or another. And the four reasons that I found that are the most common are they hate technology, they don't really understand it, and it changes a lot, so that's certainly understandable. They don't have the time, which is what we're going to talk about today. And next week, it's because they don't want to waste their time learning it. <laughs> so these are all reasons that people have for not paying attention to the more technical aspect of their business. So if you say you don't have the time, you actually have two possibilities. Um, the first is to make the time, <laughs> or the second is to get someone else to do it. And we're going to talk about both of those and what that means. So first, to make the time. Do things in short pieces. You don't have to spend your whole day on the computer if you don't want to. I mean, artists, healers, writers, artists and healers in particular, often don't want to use the computer a lot. And that's really a barrier. So doing things in short pieces, in short time frames, in 30 minutes. Give yourself 30 minutes, no more. And really stick to that. Don't go, oh, I'm on a roll, I'm going to keep it up. Stick to 30 minutes. Do it regularly. Really pick a time early in the morning, late at night, whatever fits your regular schedule so it doesn't feel like an imposition and so that you're regular. If you do it regularly, you're going to start to see benefits. You'll see that you're building what you're doing. If you do it sporadically, it never feels like that. It just feels like one more thing to do. Work in off hours, hours that don't interfere with the rest of your life um, and that don't interrupt your schedule. And keep things simple and small. You don't have to do major stuff. Um, you really want to do what you need to do for you. Um, and the workbook will help you figure that out. And you want to do what is going to make uh, an impact for you. And part of that is automation. Um, you don't have to... When you understand automation and you understand how to link things, it makes it so much easier because you're doing one thing and that has a huge impact. So I would recommend that. And if you want to talk with me about how to do that, I'm open. Um, do what you have to do <laughs> and do what excites you. Um, play, experiment, try and get a response, try and see a difference. Um, and that's why if you are consistent and you have a focus, something that you actually want to see, you know what you're looking for, you know what success will look like for you, then voila! Uh, you can tell whether what you're doing works or doesn't work and then you can change it so that you don't feel like you're beating yourself up. And it really helps to hold yourself accountable to have a buddy of some kind. Um, I can do that for you. <laughs> but you can also find others, and maybe there's other people in your same industry that you would find it fun to work with. So, you know, pony up, <laughs> partner up, uh, and find somebody else to work with. Now, if you want to have somebody else to do it, um, there's still things that you have to do. It doesn't mean that you don't have any part of this. Um, it just changes what you do. You have to research people. Who do you want to work with? Um, who meets your financial criteria, your time criteria? Who do you click with personally? Um, get recommendations and references from other people in your industry and interview them. You know, feel what, you don't have to hire the first person you talk to. Um, but you are going to have to invest some time in finding out who to work with. 
The other thing you're going to have to invest some time in, and here's where the workbook will really help you, um, is to be clear on what you want and what is going to be your measure of success. Um, if you don't know that, you don't know whether what you do on your own works or what somebody else does for you works. And you need to understand both of those things. You need to make the best use of the resources you have, both you and other people. Have a budget. Understand how much you want to spend. Because if you're having somebody else do it for you, you're going to have to pay them, unless they're family and friends. And then you pay by their availability or lack thereof. So, again, I was talking about being consistent. Whoever you do, whoever works for you, has to be consistent too. So, if they're family and friends, hmm, that's sometimes dicey. Um, so, have a budget, both time and money, that you feel will work for your business and stay within it. Check in. Check to see that your success measures have been met. Look at what they're doing online to see if you like what they're doing, if it fits you, if it is you. I mean, that's what you're trying to do. The whole purpose of being online is creating a relationship. So you want somebody to work for you or with you that reflects who you are, not who they are. Um, so you want to make sure that what they're doing does that. Again, start with small projects, things that have the biggest impact first. You don't need to spend a lot of time at it, but you do need to be clear and you do need to be consistent. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. Please give me a ring, 303-818-4147 or visit my website, http colon forward slash forward slash quickvideoproductions.com and the workbook is at quickvideoproductions.com forward slash Facebook hyphen live. So, see you next week. Bye.